Jeffrey Ford here with the Ford Entertainment Group showing off a budget build PC and how it runs iRacing. So first order of business is to show you what's under the hood. So what we have here under the hood, let me make sure I got my playbacks right. Okay. Under the hood here. Uh, G45, G4600, the budget build used to be a G4560, now it's a G4600. Uh, either way, both of them run iRacing just fine. Uh, you'll see here in a short moment that it's going to be running iRacing on high settings on the left-hand side, which is all your eye candy. Here you can see it running at the advertised speed of 3600 megahertz. Under the hood, we have a GTX 1050 Ti. Now the... Uh, he did the slight upgrade with the budget build, moving from a 1050 to a 1050 Ti. Uh, the 1050 does uh, mostly high settings as well, but right now we're looking at the budget build with a 1050 Ti, all high settings, running 150 to 250 frames per second with all high settings. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's take a look. Let's go ahead and clear the minimum maximum here so we can come back here at the end of the video and see what our temperatures were like. So let's open up iRacing. We are going to be spectating a live session. Uh, no replays here. We wanted to use all the physics so it, the computer works as hard as possible. Uh, let's see. 31 drivers. There we go. There's a good test right there. 31 drivers. That will uh, put a lot of strain on the PC and graphics card. It's exactly what we want. We want to see some of the uh, worst case scenarios. Now, obviously, different tracks, different amounts of cars will affect the frames per second, but you can be pretty much guaranteed uh, 100 plus with all high settings. And for the most part, and for most with high settings, you're going to be looking at 140, 150 to 200. Also, with that said, um, the frames per second you see here are will like well will definitely be higher when you're actually racing simply because you won't be recording at the same time like I am now so I'm putting a little bit extra uh processor uh, a little bit of a extra processor load uh with the, with the recording as well I think when I was looking at uh OBS it says it was using about 10% of the CPU so whatever uh, frames per second you see here, you might see up to 10% more frames per second. So we're logging into uh, uh, Class A uh, oval race here at Darlington. So that's pretty good. Uh, smaller track, so with 30 plus cars, that should uh, really test the PC out pretty good. Now I did turn the volume down a little bit uh, so that you can hear me more talking about uh, what you're saying. So. Once it loads up, we'll go ahead and go into the graphics tabs right away so you can see uh, the high settings on the, all the way to the left. And for the most part, a lot of things clicked on to the right. So. so Darlington's loading up for the first time. All right. <clears throat> so first things first, let's go ahead and go into the graphics tab to see what kind of graphics we're looking at. As stated, max quality, max quality, high settings, 1920 by 1080, okay? Pretty much everything checked on. So remember, this is a $475 PC. We look at the replay settings, but I repeat, as you saw, this is not a replay. This is actually going into the real live race. So let's take a look at our uh, frames per second there. Going down the front stretch, grandstands, 105 frames per second. This is with 30 plus cars, 30 plus cars. High settings on a $475 computer. Let's see what we can expect if you're up front here. You'll see the uh, frames per second change. But look at that, 100 plus, we're going down the front stretch with 30 plus cars, 30 plus cars. And look at that, once you get past those grandstands, you're looking at 200 frames per second. Not a whole lot more you can ask out of a $475 PC. And 
and the real test. Oh, he's getting a little bit of a Darlington stripe. Uh, the grandstands takes its toll on everything. You see it drop from 200s to the 130s. But uh, for the most part, and this is 30 plus cars, for the most part, you're going to be 130 plus. So feel free to get that 144 hertz monitor for this budget build. Okay. One last look at the graphics. All high settings. Look here. This is all the eye candy, boys. All the eye candy. And, of course, a lot of the other stuff is checked as well. So let's log out and see how we were doing on temperatures. All right, let's see how we're doing on temperatures. Make sure OBS is still working. It is. All right, let's go ahead and log out of that. All right, so that, so what happened here? Intel Pentium G4600, we started at, um, let's see here, temperatures. 53 degrees Celsius is what it got up to, 53 degrees Celsius. That's, uh, that's, pretty, that's, that's very cool, guys. It's very, very, very cool. And let's go take a look at the GTX 1050 Ti. It was running at about 56 degrees Celsius. Very, very good. So uh, that's the budget build, folks. If you're interested, contact me at iRacing at Jeffrey Ford, J-E-F-F-E-R-Y, space Ford, F-O-R-D. Or you can contact me via email at Ford Entertainment G-R at gmail.com. I answer any questions you have. Uh, about the budget build, I also do complete custom builds, water loop builds, closed water loop, open water loop, anything you want, I can do it. So if you're interested, give me a holler. And uh, once again, this is a customer's build, and I generally run iRacing for them. Uh, by the time this, uh, this PC is actually already shipped out, but by the time you see this video, uh, he may already have it. But uh, anyway, this was the budget build, folks. Hope you enjoyed.